Hello, good evening. Hi. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, hello. Hi, Katia, you're back. <laughs> yes. How are you? <laughs> fine. A little tired, but fine. Yeah, did you go to work today? Yes. What about you, Hazel? How are you? I You're muted, by the way. What did you say, Katia? I work. The clinic don't close. Oh, yeah, that is true. You work in yes. the health system. So, no, you're not going to stop working at all. You're actually, you might actually work more, right? Hi, Karen. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Thank you. How are you this evening? I'm good, thank you. you. Everything good. Okay, last class, uh, we left off here. We were practicing this conversation using Ken, okay? Um, I will play here. We already practiced the pronunciation. I know the three of you, I think. Hi again. Know. Listen to the audio program. But let's look at the pronunciation of, of the dialogue. Okay, we're gonna practice this. Let me see. No, we don't have more people, so it's gonna be the three of you in the meantime. All right, can you see? Yes, it's true. Oh. Very good. Okay, so uh, Katia is gonna be Jenny. Hey, so can you hear us? How do you say la veo borroso? <laughs> it is blurry. Blurry. Yes, it's blurry. Blurry. Yes. You cannot see it. Blurry. Blurry. Uh huh. It is blurry. Okay. Uh, let's just skip this part. It's okay. Hold on. We're gonna do the next one. Give me one second. Okay, uh, Katia, can you read the objective, please? Okay. At the end of this session, you will understand how to use imperatives and infinitive for giving suggestions. Okay. Let's watch the video. Pay attention, please. Hello everyone, before you watch the video, I want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject. Also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we we'll use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is... Remember... We already saw this part, but... Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's practice with one sentence, okay, and then we'll move on, because... This is where it said I was. I don't know what happened. Okay, let's say um, for for these days, what are the recommendations, guys? Remember to do what? Be sure, be sure to wash your hands. Uh huh. Very good. Got it. Uh, well, you already said it, Katya. Mm -hmm. You use a complete expression with the imperative, okay? Don't forget to what? 
or make sure to do what? No, hey, welcome. You want to give us an example? I don't hear you. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. You want to give us an example? Do um, you see any case? Um, yeah, any of them. Try to not to be in crowded places. Uh -huh. Remember that that one is try not to. <coughs> there it is again. So try not to. Okay. Very good. So, um, let me see. Imperative. Nope. All right, uh, let's do this exercise. Number one, Hazel. Let's read, okay, and choose an answer. Hazel, go ahead. Try to keep it close to protect the screen. Mm -hmm. What are they talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, laptop computer? Yes, that is right. Very good. Number two, Karen? Don't forget to write down your secret code. Mm -hmm. What do you think it is? Don't forget to write down your secret code. Alarm system. Okay, let's try, uh, try that one. Katya, number three. Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Alarm system. Okay. Hold on. Hmm. I don't think that's the alarm system number two, but let's see. Number four. Maybe cell phone. Yeah, right. Hold on. Let me see. The cell phone or the laptop. Could be anything. Maybe. Honestly, it could be anything, so we don't know. Number four, got in. Try not to get get it wet or the keys may get stuck. I may get stuck, connected. Okay. Make it stuck. And the keys may get stuck. Okay. Um cell phone teacher I'm, I'm not sure about that yeah you know what i think they're talking about old cell phones probably <laughs> yes yeah number five don't wait make sure to set it each time you leave home mm -hmm. okay, i think um, other system right mm -hmm. number six hazel Remember to recharge the batteries before they die. Mm -hmm. Cell phone. Mm -hmm. Cell phone and finally, in Katia. Be sure to turn it off before bed or I call may wake, wake you up. Or mm -hmm. I call may wake you up. I call may. Mm -hmm. A cell phone. Let's see. Mm -hmm. We have two mistakes. 2.9. Have you worked on this section before? Me too. You did and you finished? No. So what's number I two, Noe? I think it's, uh, let me check. Laptop computer. Alarm system. Or alarm, probably alarm, alarm system. system. Okay, number four. Um, Try not to get get it. Laptop away. computer. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that could that, be. One. Yeah, laptop computer. Laptop. Very good. And what else is wrong? That's it. Mm. Just. Each time no. you leave home, <laughs> alarm. Um, yes, there it is. Okay, awesome. Good okay. job.
can move on. <clears throat> okay, uh, read the objective, please. Got them? In this class, you will read an article about technology in the future. Develop skills in identifying paragraph topics and reading the specific information. Uh -huh, very good. So we're going to read a day in your life. Okay. So as always, right, we're going to take turns in reading one paragraph each. I would like you to um, write down new vocabulary and once you finish reading out loud, of course, you're going to answer the questions. Okay. So everybody should go to section 2.11. And you can make it bigger here to discuss it. So you just click on that, um, on the corner of it. So let's read that section together, okay? I'm going to make um, small groups or in pairs. Let's practice reading. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Accept the invitation, yeah. please. And let's practice. Mm -hmm. Are you taking turns to read? Mm. Uh -huh. Okay, I start. A day in your life in the gym. Options uh, for uh, I to share. Send or I'm compartir. Going to send the screen uh, in, in the group. Okay, perfect. But so let, let me, me check. Let me charge. Okay, the perfect. WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah, I sent a, a not a, a screenshot, WhatsApp. but a picture to WhatsApp. Yep, yeah, I sent it okay, there so you can different. read. Sure. Yes. Okay. Okay, now if you want, you can start. Okay. Mm, my computer is slow. Okay. A day in your life. Mm -hmm. in the year uh, 2020. Uh, people used to know more or less how their children will lie. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own lives will be like in a few years. But philosophy hopes first see the future. Uh, you are in daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it on an autom automatic pilot and with its high-tech computer. Your car knows how to get you home safely. 
you head for the kitchen when you get home. You ordered groceries by computer and Can I continue? Yes. Okay. What's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to get a hamburger or pizza. Now, use your diagnostic machine to find out which food your body needs. Your food preparation machine makes your salad. Me. Lunch, you, you go down to your office. He have everything you need to do work. You never have commute to commute. Commute. Like, <laughs> commute. <laughs> to work anymore. Commute. 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 Right, it's similar to communicate. Work anymore. Mm -hmm. Your information screen says that you yes. receive a mess a message. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, your information screen says that you receive a message from a co-worker in Brazil. You set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your co-worker face appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. You finish working and go back to your living room. You turn off the television and look through the list of the new movies. It's like having a video store, store in your home. I can make tomorrow. Okay, don't worry. You finished reading? Yes, you yeah. sure. Okay, we're gonna go back then. Okay, thank you. Okay, did you, um, everybody finish reading, right? Hold on, I'm waiting for the two girls to come back. So, did you find new vocabulary? New vocabulary. Mm. Let me check the chart. Daydreaming, what is the what is the mean daydreaming? It, daydreaming is when you're like those scenes from the movies, right? That you're laying your head on the on the window and it's raining and you're thinking about somebody. Anyway, it's like uh, okay. thinking about something while awake and imagining a lot of scenarios, but you're not sleeping. That's what it means. Oh, okay. Okay, right. thank you. Some pronunciation problems I noticed were, what's the pronunciation of this, guys? Or what, teacher? Hold on. Yeah, I'm trying to make it bigger. There it is. Pronunciation of that? Says. Ah, exactly. You don't pronounce this Y, so you say, yes. or it's going to sound like this, says, right? And mm -hmm. the fast is the same. What's the pronunciation of the fast? Say. Say. What is it? Say. 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 Actually. Ah, say. Yes, it said. So she said, okay. and I said exactly. Very good. Now, uh, pronunciation of this. Teach. 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 How do you say this? 
Okay, pronunciation of tech. this word. This is not part of it, but it, it's also Stomach. confusing. Stomach. Stomach. Uh -huh. stomach. No, that's C-H. You're going to pronounce it as a K, so it is stomach. Just stomach. Uh -huh. Stomach. And this? Tech. Stomach. Ache. Have a stomach. Ache. Ache. Very good. Ache. Okay. So those C-H are pronounced as K. K. Okay. Ache. Ache. Okay, there was another word there. How do you pronounce this? Uh, Katia, how do you pronounce this? Commute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> commute. commute? Yes. Mm, it's commute. like communication, so you don't pronounce that double M, just say commute, like communication. Commute. Right? Same thing. Mm. Yes. Go ahead, no, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, diag diagnostic, how this pronunciation? Ah, diagnose. What does it say here? Oh, di anyway, it is diagnose. 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 Uh huh. Diag. Like this. Diag. Dialogue. Or what? No, he's uh, he's asking about diagnose. Diagnose. Right. Okay. Any? Sorry. What's the meaning of commute? Commute. Commute, yes. What's the meaning? Communicate? No. What is the word commute? Hold on, let me show it to you. Here. Mm -hmm. Here, this one. Commute means commute. The, your daily... Okay, for example, when you go to work and then go back home, let me ask you, what is your daily commute, guys? Where do you go daily on a regular basis? Do you go to work and, and then home or you go to the gym or school? What are the places you go to every day? To work. To work. That's it? Work and home. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're like those memes, right? I only go work and home, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway, that that would be my commute. In your case, Noe, you would say my commute to work lasts, how long does it take you? Like half hour? Half an hour. Ah, oh, no, it's uh, Total. Uh, eight hours. Eight hours? It's impossible. Really? Where do you work? Um, in a, like a drugstore, but uh, much bigger. Huh. Like a headquarter one. All no, right. Like my 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 job. No, where where is it located? It's located in. In here in Antiguo Cuscatlán. Oh, yeah, it doesn't last eight hours then. Okay, let me ask you this, this question. How do Salvadorians commute? By bus, the majority. By car, by train, by helicopter. <laughs> How by bus. Salvador command by bus. Okay, by bus. We're going to say mm -hmm. most Salvadorians commute by bus. Okay. And I commute by, Karen? I commute by um, car. By car, very good. Hazel, how do you commute? I com by commute by car. By car? No, eh? I commute by bus. Katya? I walk. Ah, you walk. Awesome. Or you can <laughs> say, uh, you can say, for example, I go to work. How do you say, guys? Yeah, how do you say that? I go to work. I got to work. A, a pie. How do you say that? On foot. Uh -huh. Very good. On foot. On foot. Awesome. 
So my commute to work lasts 35 minutes, for example. Is that clear? It's a verb and it's also a noun. All right. Okay. And if you notice, all the things they're talking about the future, we already have, right? Everything is already happening. What else? Any other words? No more words? Mm. No. Uh -uh. No. Let me hand you up your card. Mm. Mm. Very good. Okay, let's continue then. We're going to learn some vocabulary to talk about parties, okay? Uh, read the objective, please. No. Way. Once it gets there. Hold a on, day hold on. in your life. No, we already did that. <laughs> Sorry? One second. Yeah, a day in your life. This is the one. Uh, in this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing celebration. Very good. Let's watch the video. Here it is. Hi, are you ready to begin? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, card, dancing. Ready to begin? Let's read them and repeat, okay? I want you to follow me and repeat the words as they appear in your screen. Anniversary, cake, Anniversary. Card. cake. dancing, Anniversary. fireworks, cake. flowers, fireworks. 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 Raid, red on presents, turkey, a wedding. Very good. Remember, you may listen to the audio program as many. Okay, read with me. That was too fast. Anniversary, 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 cake, 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 cards, 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 dancing, 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 fireworks. Fireworks, flowers, 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 fruit punch, fruit, fruit, fruit punch, punch. So fruit, 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 fruit punch, uh huh, punch, punch. Parade. parade, parade, party, party, presents, presents, presents. roast turkey, roast, roast turkey. turkey, wedding, wedding, wedding. wedding. Okay, so now I'm going to be sending you some questions about, let me, I have it on the phone, but let me show you here. Yeah, for some reason, my Google Chrome is not working, so I have to use Internet Explorer. Can you believe that? <laughs> it's so outdated. I see, I see that. <laughs> you, you noticed? <laughs> We're going to discuss some questions, okay? It's question, question. Oh, parties, it's the first one. Okay, for example, uh, uh -huh, it's good. One person is gonna be student A, okay, and the other person is going to be student B. I'll send you both images. For example, we're gonna say what image, uh, what images bring to mind when you hear the word party? It can be a memory, right? It can be items, anything that comes to your mind. That's what it means by spring. Do you like to party? La la la. We're gonna be talking about parties, okay? So I'll send you this to each one of you. One student will be A and B. Do you have any questions? No, the truth. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's work in pairs and give me one second, okay? I'll, I'll send you the image in, in a moment. You're gonna work with a different person, by the way. So accept the invitation, here we go.
Are you by yourself? Oh no. Teacher, I am alone. <laughs> what happened? Where did she go? <laughs> Hold on, who's not here? Karen, right? Karen disappeared. Okay, you're gonna work with, with Hazel and Noe then. Okay. You have the questions? Yes. Yeah, Karen had a problem, I think. So it, it's the three, the four of us anyway. <laughs> but let's start discussing. Question in, let me see. I had take turns in answering the questions. All right, read the first one, Noe. Uh, what? What images spring to mind when you hear the word party? Uh -huh. Answer the questions, Hazel and Katia. Cake. I don't Cake. know. <laughs> I don't know. Try to elaborate on it. Give a little bit more detail. All right. Let's do number two then. Read number two. Katya. Do you like to do you like to party? Mm -hmm. Do you party hard? What do you think, Noe? Hazel? Um, In my case, I like the party, but not too much and no party hard. Uh, in my case. Okay. <clears throat> How often do you party, Hazel? Uh, only when uh, a special occasion, like anniversary with my husband or the birthday. And that's it. Okay. And you, Katya? Me too. I like the body, but no heart. All right. <laughs> only you the same only for birthdays, anniversaries. Special occasions only. Yes, only. Very good. Number three, Hazel. What makes a good party good for you? What makes a good party? No, I think the question is, what makes a party good for you? Uh, what made a good party, uh, correct. What made party good for you? Right. What are your requirements? No, eh? I, oh. For me, um, the food makes a, a good party. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> I the agree. The company, the company, it it makes yes. a good party too. Right. Anything yes. else? The company. Food and company, both. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, number four. Look at that collocation, guys. You usually say throw a party when you're the organizer of the party. So I will throw a party. I threw a party. Is that new? Okay. Yeah. How many parties have you thrown in your life? That you arranged, you organized, you invited people. How many parties have you thrown? Um, I have thrown like two parties. <laughs> Only two parties. 
day in my in my office when when then someone uh, is um, cumpliendo años. When it's someone's birthday. Okay, it's on someone's birthday. Like this, like this. When it's someone's birthday. Someone's birthday. Uh, uh, friends and, and co-workers organize a, a little, not party, it, it might, uh, like um, a lunch or... Uh -huh. More like a get together. Yes. All right. Yeah, in my case, I have only organized two in my life, I guess, or three tops. Mm -hmm. Katya? Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> I don't remember that I organized a party. Oh, maybe zero. No. Angel? <laughs> zero. In my case, I, ca I have to organize parties in my office, um, maybe four or five in the, in the year, every year. Okay, so that's a lot. Yes. That's like 12 or more. I imagine, Hazel, I, I imagine you <laughs> threw a lot of parties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't like the parties, but I have to do. <laughs> <laughs> How do they come up? They're good parties? People like them? The comments are good. Your positive comments? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you see, you're good at it. It's the most important, right? <laughs> exactly. Feedback is positive. That's good. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, Noe, you know why I asked you to read, right, Noe? Because <laughs> you're yawning. Sorry, I it's feel okay. a little tired. No, you're, Katya and you are always tired before class, but it's okay because you still <laughs> join. <laughs> you still join despite you're tired. That's good. You could go straight to bed, but you decide to be in class, so that's good. All right, uh, Noe, go ahead. Uh, three lesson objective. Uh, in this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing celebration. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the one. No. This is the one, sorry. By the end of this class. By the end of this class, you will understand the use of relative clauses of time. Yes, that's the one. Let's watch. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. A relative clause is used to define or identify the noun that precedes them. In this case, we will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. What a long video. What did she say? We will talk about the relative pronoun when, because we want to talk about time. Okay. Let's watch the next video because that was too short. Three point five. Hello, before you watch the video, I want you to know what a relative clause is, so pay attention. Okay, so that means we're only going to work with the relative clause when. Okay, and we're going to use it to connect two ideas, right? For example, here we have. Here we have New Year's Day is a day when. We're joining two sentences, right, with the word when. Let's finish the, the sentence, Katia.
People have parties with family and friends. People have parties, New Year's Day. Okay, we're gonna try that one. Number two. Noe. April Fool's Day is a day when... Do you know the meaning of April Fool's? Yes. Okay. Dia de los Inocentes. Yes. That is uh, right. People sometimes play tricks on friends. Okay. That could work. So you see we have two sentences, right? People play tricks. April Fool's is a day. Those are two sentences and they're together because of the relative clause when. Okay. Number three. Katia? May no. and June uh -huh. are the month when people in many countries honor workers. Maybe. Yes, right. We, when is Workers' Day for us? The first May of first. May, right? First of May. Uh huh. Okay. Valentine's Day, Hazel. Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love to someone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Valentine's Day is a day when people spend a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> it's a commercial yeah. day. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, terrible. <laughs> okay, Labor Day. Uh, no. Labor Day is a day when um, I think people in many countries honor workers. Ah, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. this is the one. Yeah, because it's Labor Day, so May and June. Choose to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Ah, Maybe. okay, hold on, hold on. Yeah, not just... Brazilians? No, it's not this one. No, it's not the carnival. Yeah, 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 that's right. So they decide to get married. Mm -hmm. Maybe because of the summer or spring, right? Yes. When do people get married in El Salvador? December, right? December. December. <laughs> yes. November Why is that? December. Why do you think they do that? <laughs> What's the reason behind it? Oh, you don't know? I don't know. It's weird. You expect you expect more more gifts because all the people have more money maybe because of the christmas bonus no exactly. i think it's for the charm of the season really hmm, I, I i i agree with hazel that people have more money and it's like oh i'm gonna use my christmas bonus for the wedding and you too and we're gonna get more gifts Imagine if you do it in January, nobody will bring anything to you because they don't have money. <laughs> They're, they will be broke. So, <laughs> the last one, Hazel. February is the month when. Can you extend the the, ans the possible answer? Yes. This uh, is February. A drop down menu. Hold on. Drop down menu. So can you click on um, drop down menu? Drop down. Drop down menu. Okay. February is the month when <laughs> oh, we just Brazilian said it. celebrate Brazilian celebrate carnival. Right. Very good. Let's send it. 
Yay, good job. We did it this yeah. time. We got it. <laughs> we kind of, we don't know that much about celebrations, but here we are. Okay. And let's see if we have more because we're going to have a good practice with this. Hopefully tomorrow. About carnival. Oh my gosh. This is really difficult. Before we move on, okay, uh, give me. This is how similar to the game we're going to play tomorrow, okay? Let me give you an example first. One second. Small. Okay. Uh, tell me three important dates or months. Hazel? So. An important date or month? Three what? I'm sorry. No, just one. One important date, fecha or month? Uh, in general. Yeah, in general. Uh, December 25. December Christmas. 20, 25th. 25th, sorry. 25th, that's okay. Noe? Um, it can be a month or a date. November 2nd. Ooh. November 2nd, okay. <laughs> but what's the name of, of that holiday, Noe? Uh, Oh, I yeah. know what you're going to say. Yeah, that's very difficult. I always have the same question. Hold on. How do I call them? Day of the deceased. Day of the deceased, maybe. Day of the dead. Days of the dead. Days of the dead. Of the dead. Okay, day of, day of the dead. Day of the Dead. Okay, so Day of the Dead. No, Day of the Deceased. Yes, that's what I that's what I typed. Day of the Deceased, but we need to find it, the translation, the cultural translation, not the literal one. So let me see. Dia de los muertos. The thing is that, you know, this is a Mexican tradition, right? Or Latin, not, not in the United States. So they, that's why they don't have a word because they don't celebrate this. Did you know that? It's Day of the Dead. Yes, right? Yeah, they don't celebrate this. We Hispanics uh, do celebrate it. That's why we don't have like the English uh, holiday. Anyway, day of the dead. Yeah. Very good. And one more, Katia. Independence Day. Very good. Independence Day. Okay. So this is what we're going to do tomorrow. Okay. We're going to try to guess. Imagine you don't see this. Imagine I'm not looking at this. All right. You have to give me a clue using when without saying this so that I can tell you what date or month it is. So what can you say about the first one, guys? Uh, okay. Give me a clue. Give me a clue. Come on. <laughs> I know the answer, but. A clue? Uh -huh. Yes. So, for example, you uh, can say. It's the day that you receive day. Uh -huh. many presents. Very good. That's a good clue. It's the day when you receive many presents. So you see, we're using when as to connect the ideas, and my answer is gonna be your birth, your birthday. No? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be the answer, right? And if you say no, no it's also because yeah, I would say my birthday. You can say it's also the no. day <laughs> for the holiday when you celebrate uh, Jesus, for example. Okay, and I was oh it's it's Christmas, and you would say okay, but tell me the date. <laughs> oh, <laughs> December twenty fifth. Okay, very good. Number two, give me a clue, uh, Hazel. Or Noe. It's a day when. Uh, 
many people makes parades. Oh, that's really hard. Really? Yes. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Katia, in Hazel, if I tell you today when people make parades, oh no, but we're talking about Day of the Dead, no, eh? Not Independence no. Day. Ah, <laughs> that's why. Okay. <laughs> I was like, really? I haven't seen them, but okay. Maybe in Mexico, no, no. I thought. I yes. was thinking another day. Okay, a could be is a, a Mexican tradition. Oh, but you need to use when. That's a requirement. Ah, okay. When a people celebrate their... What's the first sentence? A first sentence. Uh-huh, because you need to connect it with when, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's the it's the day uh -huh. when people uh, celebrate their dead relative. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah, that would be easy. And finally, Hazel? Hold on, you're muted. I can't hear you. Your microphone is muted. There you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a day when the country um, celebrate. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's you difficult. cannot say it. How do you say cementerio? A, a graveyard, we can say. Grape, yeah. The cemetery too, you can also say that. All right, very good. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna practice not only with when, but also with why, who's, what, where, all the relative clauses. Okay, any questions? Okay. Okay. No. No questions? So that'll no questions. be all for tonight. Thank you very much for being in class and I hope I see you tomorrow. But Noe, you're in class every day. Good job. It Katya, I know that from today and on you will be in class, right? Because you had issues last uh, yes. week. What about you, Hazel? I don't know. I I was sick and the other day uh remember I was driving yes. and uh, I I hope this week uh, you will be able to join all right awesome I hope so too thank you guys have a good night see you tomorrow good, good teacher night. good night have a good night bye 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 bye